Hello and welcome to Martin Maths. For those of you who are distance teaching or homeschooling or in isolation and just think of something to do uh, at home and I've got this kids puzzle blocks but it's as useful for a teacher as uh, a learner and for um, an activity for the afternoon. So let's go through the shapes that it has. First one is it's got a triangle. Equilateral triangle, three equal sides. Then has a trapezium. Two unequal parallel sides. But it's actually an isosceles trapezium there because those base angles are equal. Then we've got a hexagon. And it's a regular hexagon because all the sides and angles are the same. Then we've got our square, four sided shape. All sides equal right angle corners. Then we've got what primary students might call a diamond, secondary students will call a rhombus. All the sides are equal, but it's like a square being pushed over. It's not quite a parallelogram because the sides are, it is, sorry, it is a type of parallelogram, um, but the sides are equal. Um, and then another type of parallelogram, which is another type of rhombus. All the sides are equal. Okay, so there we go. Those are the shapes that we're going to work with. So there's lots we can do here. Firstly, we can see which shapes will tessellate. So where they fit together with no gaps. And you see that with the beehive. Then these rhombus shapes fit together nicely like that and so on. And then the trapezia, they can fit where... They alternate like that, or something that I've learned myself, to realize that it actually could fit together like that, make a big equilateral triangle, which then fits together with other equilateral triangles to tessellate further. So if I just make another one of those, turn it on its side, and there we go. So that's some shapes and some tessellations. But there's more you can do with these shapes. If you're learning, teaching, or just want a hobby, you could just make some wonderful patterns. Symmetrical here. Either side of that mirror line, it's all the same. Or rotational symmetry, where one, two, three, four, five, six sides. It's got order of six, and um, rotational order six. But we don't have to stop there. We could just keep building and seeing what wonderful, fun designs we could make. So thanks for watching. I know what I'm going to do for the rest of this afternoon. Please do send in to my Twitter page, uh, Martin McCutcher or Mr. Minute Maths, uh, photos of your wonderful creations that are, those of you who are home learning or distance teaching, just want to make some colorful patterns. Thanks for watching.